Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let's solve some exercises on FT modules associated to matrices. So what we've seen is that uh, if you're given a matrix A, so let's say A is an n by n matrix over some field F, then you have this um, gives rise to an FT module. In this FT module, the underlying um, additive abelian group is just f to the n and um, and given a polynomial uh, a0 plus a1t plus adt to the d this acts on a vector v belonging to fn by a0 plus a1 times the matrix a plus a d a to the power d this whole thing is a matrix multiplied by v and every ft module arises in this manner so here's the first exercise find a matrix A. In this case, it will be a 3 by 3 matrix over Q such that the associated A module, let's call this M subscript A, is isomorphic to Ft mod T cube minus 2T squared plus t minus 3. So there are many ways to solve this problem. What you have to do is you have to pick a basis for this module and then uh, the matrix will just be however t acts on with respect to that basis. So pick a basis. So E0 equals 1 e1 equals t by which I mean the image of uh, 1 in ft mod t cube minus 2 t squared plus t minus 3 e1 is the image of t in this module e2 equals t squared and then t cubed is 2 t squared minus t plus 3 because t squared minus 2 t plus t minus 3 is 0 in this module. So this is no longer independent of e0, e1 and e2. So e0, e1 and e2 form a basis of this module. And so let's figure out how uh, t acts on this. So t e0, well it's just uh, t times 1 that is e1, t e1 is e2 and t e2 is t cubed so it is um, 3 e0 minus e1 plus 2 e2 so therefore the matrix a has the form the image of a e, e0 is e1 so the second basis vector the image of e1 is e2 the third basis vector and the image of e2 is 3 e0 minus e1 plus 2 e2. Let's try another similar exercise. Write down a matrix a belong to 
m3 so this uh, the size of the matrix is always the dimension of the module as a vector space over the field f so we'll work with the field q here actually in this maybe i can take any field f it doesn't matter such that m a is isomorphic to f t mod t squared direct sum f t mod t so again to solve this we have to pick a basis so i'll pick a basis E1 equals so there are two summands here. So I'll take firstly the one from the first summand and zero in the second summand. E2 to be t from the first summand, zero from the second summand, and t squared in the first summand is zero. So I can stop here. That's two dimensional, and this thing summand I'll just take zero comma one. Then let's figure out how t acts on these basis vectors. Then t e1 is e2. T e two, well, it's t squared, so that's zero, and T e three is also zero, so the matrix A is just going to be zero one zero 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 zero. That's it. Exercise two, three. Find A such that M A is isomorphic to F T. Mod t minus three whole cube. I'll solve this in two different ways. First, I'll take basis um, e zero equals one, e one equals t minus three, e two equals t minus three squared. And uh, then what I get is uh, t times e zero. Well, it's t. But I need to expand in terms of this basis e zero, e one, e two. So I can write this as t minus three plus three, which is e one plus three e zero, and t e one is um, t into t minus three, which is t minus three whole squared. Plus three into t minus three, which is e two plus three e one, and t e two is t into t minus three whole squared, which is t minus three whole cube plus three into t minus three whole squared, but t minus three whole cubed is zero in this module, and so this is just e two. Three e two. So then we get that the matrix of A is um, so e zero goes to three e zero plus e one. E one goes to three e one plus e two. E two goes to three e two. This is a Jordan block with eigenvalue three. Of course, we could have also done this uh, the stupid way. We could have taken Uh, e zero equals one, e one equals t, e two equals t squared, and using the fact that t minus three whole cubed is equal to t cubed minus nine t squared plus twenty seven t uh, minus twenty seven, we could have written a is equal to zero uh, one. Zero 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 one uh, twenty seven minus twenty seven nine, which would also be a correct answer. But I like the first one better. Okay, now let's look at a fourth exercise where we have F T equals. Um, Not F T M A. Find A such that M A is isomorphic to 
एफ टी मॉड टी माइनस ए होल स्क्वाड प्लस एफ टी मॉड टी माइनस ए वेर ए इज सम एलिमेंट ऑफ एफ सो द वे आई सॉल्व दिस आई विल टेक माई बेसिस ई वन टू बी वन कॉमा जीरो दैट इज द वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट सम एंड ई टू टू बी टी माइनस ए कॉमा जीरो एंड देन आई टेक ई थ्री टू बी जीरो कॉमा वन एंड देन आई फाइंड दैट टी टाइम्स ई वन इज टी माइनस ए which is t minus a plus a which is e0 or uh, rather e1 a times e1 plus e2 this is all happening in the first component maybe i should put zeros here but t e2 is equal to t into t minus a comma 0 of course i'm not writing that which is t minus a squared plus a into t minus a which is equal to a e2 plus e3 uh, a t2 plus not e3 plus 0 because this part well it's 0 in the first component and uh, now when we work with t e3 we'll be working in the second component t e3 is equal to t times t minus a uh, no it's just t which is t minus a plus a but t minus a is zero in the second component and so we just get uh, we just get a e3 so the matrix here is a 1 zero zero a zero 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 a so this is a matrix in a jordan canonical form with two blocks one of size 2 and one of size 1 both blocks have eigen value a